Hey y'all, I'm Bobby Steiner, Director of Golf Instruction here at Horseshoe Bay Resort Golf Academy, and today I want to talk about how you can hit a soft, lofted pitch even when your ball is buried in the deep rough near the green. Now, if you saw the video I did a couple of weeks ago on the standard pitch shot, then maybe you recall and it came across that there were two absolutes to that shot. Those two absolutes remain in place for this shot. What were they? Well, number one, we want the wrist to cock down. We don't want the right wrist to cup up. We want to cock pushing the left palm toward the ground. And number two, we want to make sure that our club face is running north and south. This will never serve as a means of getting loft on the shot. You've got to have that thing pointed up at 12 o'clock. Now, as I say, that was for the standard pitch, but those still apply for this longer shot. However, there are some other things we have to consider. Number one, I've got to figure out where that ball is in relation to the ground. Now, you might not even be able to see this ball. It's, it's covered up, but I can still get it out. What I want to do is I need to determine how far above the ground that ball is resting. And as long as it's between about a half inch above the ground and maybe an inch and a half, then it's a green light situation. Look what I do here. I'm going to take a practice swing, keeping my eyes right there on the ground, and I'm going to make a swing for one purpose only, and that is to look and measure for myself to see about how far above that ground the ball is resting. I just took a practice swing. I just hit the ground, and my senses tell me that that ball still has about a half inch of room under it. That's a green light situation. I can use the bounce of the wedge to get that up. What am I talking about? Well, the bounce is the flange down here at the very bottom of the club, and it is measured by how much the back edge is lower than the front edge. And the more, the more that's the case, the more bounce it has. What does bounce do? Bounce prevents the club from digging. Bounce is what allows me to hit the ground quite abruptly, yet not break the surface of the ground. Look how hard I hit the ground but yet I didn't break it. I want to use that same technique on this golf ball. I want to use that bounce and throw it right into the spot in that half inch of space I have between the ball and the ground. And if I do that, the ball will come off nice and soft, just like it were sitting on fairway grass. All right, no problem whatsoever. Why? Because I used the bounce on the club. And so let me say that again. The technique that you use for a grassy lie is exactly the same as for the short grass. What's gonna change is you've got to determine where that ball is in relationship to the ground. Because rarely is the ball sitting all the way on the ground. Even if it's in deep grass, there's likely some space between the ball and the ground. And so what do you do? You take a practice swing to see how much space you have. As long as you have something like between a half inch and maybe an inch and a half, then you can let it go, use that bounce, swing down and through it, and that ball will come out softly. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for tuning in. This is Bobby Steiner. I'll look forward to seeing you next week.